This is downtown Julie Brown. As the hours pass, there's a change of mood here in the town square, a volatile feeling. People are frightened, confused, desperate for answers. Joining us now is Dr. Elon Spengler, brother of renowned Ghostbuster Dr. Egon Spengler and president of Wastebusters. Dr. Spengler, can you tell us why you're here tonight? Yes, I can, Julie. Will you? Yes. The current condition of Mother Earth is the greatest crisis in the history of this planet, and industrial toxic waste is one of the most serious threats. Our job at Wastebusters is to identify industrial polluters, track them down, and humiliate them. I've got one. You. You there. Jason Thurm. Mr. Thurm? Mr. Thurm. Ah! Nathan Thurm. Why are you trying to avoid us? I'm not trying to avoid you. Why would I be trying to avoid you? That's so funny that you think that. You are Nathan Thurm. I know that. You don't think I know that? It's my name. I would know that. And you are legal counsel and spokesperson for Diversified Industries? No, I'm not. Your name is on the letterhead. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I have it right here. Would you like to read it? You read it. I have read it. Then why should I have to read it? Because it's your letterhead. I know that. You don't think I know that? It's my letterhead. I'm quite aware of that. Is it me or is it him? It's him, isn't it? Mr. Thurm, are you aware that the industrialized nations manufacture some 65,000 different chemicals, some of which have never been thoroughly tested for their effects on the environment? No, they don't. Yes, they do. It's a proven fact. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. You think it is? I know it is. I know that. And are you aware that this year in the United States, 275 million tons of hazardous waste will be generated? That's a million tons of toxics for every man, woman, and child in the country. So what are you saying? That seems rather generous, a million tons per child. Oh, you think that's a bad thing? Yes, I think it's a bad thing. Is that what you say or is that what they say? That's what everyone says. I know it's a bad thing. Why are you acting like I'm to blame? Not all companies are polluters. Why am I suddenly the bad guy? You seem a little defensive, Mr. Thurm. I'm not defensive. You're the one who should be defensive. You're the one who thinks that hairdo works with that overly long face of yours. What does my haircut have to do with anything? I don't know. You're the one who brought it up. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Can you believe this guy? Why are you always pointing the finger at other people? Why don't you point the finger at yourself? Do a little less reading, a little more primping in the mirror. What, you don't think you need that? It's so funny that you think that, and yet sad, don't you think? Mr. Thurm, industrial irresponsibility is directly at fault for thousands of pollution incidents every year. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I know that. Then what do you suggest we do about it? How should I know? <laughs> maybe, maybe the government should have stricter regulations. So you'd be in favor of government intervention? I didn't say that. Government intervention? Where do you think we are? On the soil of Albania? People buy our products. It makes them happy. What's wrong with that? Is something wrong with that? I, I, I don't understand. If, if people are so concerned about the environment, then they have the choice. They can either buy the product or not. Oh, so you think it's up to the consumer to influence these companies? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You think I did? I know you did. I know that. Yet, do you think being this literal is interesting? It's not interesting at all. It's rather boring. Look at your crew. They're dozing off. Look at them. Schools don't have... And now, Weekend Update with anchor person Dennis Miller. Woo! Weekend Update has learned that this set, the desk, the wall, and the map, are non-biodegradable plastic. The only thing here that's biodegradable, in fact, is me. Even the threads of polyester. So I hereby pledge that along with the other 28,000 TV news anchor persons in America, next Earth Day, we'll all do the news without a set and completely naked. No plastic whatsoever, except, of course, for Sam Donaldson's hair and Deborah Norville's expression. The EPA reports this week that the United States produces over 300 million tons of toxic waste each year. That's more than one ton of waste per every man, woman, and child. I better get busy here. It is already April, and I've only produced about six pounds of it myself. <laughs> Billions of disposable diapers are thrown away every year in the United States, and as an Earth Day observance, every baby in the United States this year will just hold it until tomorrow. <laughs> Dateline Twin Peaks. Last week, Agent Cooper dreams of some shady suspects. I know who killed Laura Palmer. Thursday at the morgue, a stiff line of questioning reveals drugs and foul play. Twin Peaks Thursday. Everyone will be there. Tuesday, Mr. Collins passed away. God, what kind of people would let such a thing happen to our planet? 
Gee, Daddy, is the earth really coming to an end? Not fast enough for me, Pumpkin. Gee, I wish there was something we could do to help. Yeah, I mean, this earth belongs to us all. Right. I say it's up to us to set an example for the whole neighborhood. You're right, son. Let's get started right now. You with me? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you people are beasts. Now, this is important to the survival of the planet. Mercy's right. Come on, guys. This time, let's really save the Earth. <laughs> Look, Fred, Wilma, peer up the evolutionary chain for just a minute and try to imagine what this house would look like had it been dusted in the last ten years. Now, that's what the Earth could look like if we'd all pitch in. I mean, what do you do when you're done with your aluminum cans? Well, first we do this. Then we toss them on your lawn. <laughs> well, then it's you I have to thank. Because I've been taking these aluminum cans down to the recycling center. And with the money I was refunded, I bought myself a Sting Sings for a Tree album. Hey, wait a minute. But our garbage is worth money? Well, yeah, so to speak. Of course, you've got to separate it first. But you can get money for just about anything. Paper, plastic, cans, and glass. Now, oh, look at that garbage. Oh, that's come on. Here. Oh. Watch it now. Come on, let me in here. Let me in here. What's this piece of paper? Oh, Kelly, it's a report card. Well, then what the hell did I burn? I'm hey, trying look. to get something oh, out of here. A paper cup. Watch it now. now. It's my in the morning. Oh, now, 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 kids, it's for the earth. Hey, spaghetti? Where was I when we had spaghetti? Look, everybody, just grab something and we'll separate it on your lawn where the bulk of the garbage is. All right, you grab that off your Mrs. Rhodes, how long can the Earth survive if we don't start doing this? Who knows? Maybe as little as a hundred years. So what's the rush? A hundred years? Hell, we'll all be dead by then. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hundred years. I thought this was an emergency. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dad, how about you and me go fishing this weekend? Oh, I don't know, son. There really hasn't been anything biting in that lake for a long time. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 it really melted. Oh, thank you. We call this material another material. Whoa. How about that? There it is, huh, guys? Well, we're going to have to do something here. Uh, the Earth's in trouble, and I guess it's up to us. It's up to us? The Earth is in trouble. Well, no, wait a minute. All right, I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to, uh, you know, from now on, I'm just going to buy my grooming supplies in extra large containers. Wow. <laughs> yes, as soon as I use up these, uh, these smaller ones here. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. What about you guys? Oh, I know what I could do. Next time I uh, stop for a six-pack, I could... Take a moment to snip those pesky six-pack rings. There you go. Good, Good idea. idea. And I've got, uh, oh, several beer cans at home that I've uh, sort of been laying around for the last year or so. Yeah. I could uh, bring those down to the Redemption Center and cash them in. It's like two yeah. cents a can. Okay, what are you going to do with the money? Uh, I don't know, buy a car, maybe. Yeah, good idea. A non-polluting kind of car, though. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It's yeah. Anyone else? What's going well, on? Well, you know, for my part, uh, I was thinking of... Uh, including a personal handwritten note to each and every person on my mail route to encourage them to recycle the junk mail in catalogs. <gasps> Good one. Well, yeah, and the handwritten note that I've included. No, better yet, I'll just write it on the junk mail. There you go. Huh? There I know. Go. Cloth baby diapers. Oh, that's hey, good. You know, and I have heard that cloth baby diapers are better for the baby's skin. Oh, don't forget the baby. I'm talking about polishing my beamer. I got through a ton of paper towels. Whoa. Mm. I'm proud of us. We've all come up... Oh, well, okay, what I'm going to do is... When I go to the laundry, I'm going to take my own garment bag so they don't have to keep giving me the plastic ones. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I'm not even going to drive to the laundry. I'm going to walk to the laundry. And that way it will save on gas and I will not be polluting the environment. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, if none of us drove anywhere, it would really help out. Well, wait a minute now. Wait. Woody, that makes sense. So just by sitting around and doing nothing for the rest of our lives, we're doing our part. <laughs> we're doing it. Yeah. 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 